Doctoral Studies of Equity and Equations. Textbooks have been out of print for almost half a century. The margins are filled with scribbled notes. Many passages have been underlined. Some uh, pages have come loose. Uh, the glue now yellowed and cracking along the spines. Ah, the Journal of Maximilian de Soto, Volume 1. Okay. Heavy ammo. Oh, hi. <laughs> I didn't see you sit, just sitting there, all quiet like. How's it going? What's this? Toss ball trading cards in mint condition. The art and science of toss ball. Oh, he likes the game, huh? How's things? As always, I am at your disposal. Cool. Anything you'd like to discuss? So, what's your full story? Because you are not just a vicar. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Just your run of the mill no, you're not. With a violently enthusiastic disposition. Violently enthusiastic, huh? Uh, that's what my parents called it. I grew up in a pit of a town, much like Edgewater. I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was infected early with a need to solve the equation. My passion didn't sit well with them. Why were you so passionate about this? My parents, ironically. They internalized the precepts of scientism like no one I've ever known. They had a pure faith, a faith that brought joy to them regardless of the situation. I envied that. I wanted that peace. I thought if I became a vicar, I could find it. Or at the very least, find out why I lacked it. But weren't they proud when you became a vicar at least? They thought I was fighting the plan, should have accepted my lot. Some people pursue the clergy for power, prestige, but that was not me. Hmm. So if you can't help but follow the plan, then everything you do is part of it, right? The plan is not one rigid path. There are a variety of multitudes contained within it. Our paths have variants, but we'll end up adhering to it, whether we like it or not. Some choices make the path smoother, some rougher. You can even go outside the lines, but the further outside you go, it's like an unbreakable elastic band. It will only stretch so far before it snaps back. The further it is stretched, the more violent the eventual correction. It's actually kind of an accurate philosophy when you think about it. If it was an unbreakable band. Hmm. Okay, so it seems quite trusting of you to sign on without knowing anything about me. I have run headlong into too many walls in my pursuit of the truth. This book is my last hope, and you were my only hope of getting it translated. True. But, um, but what if the book doesn't have the answers you're looking for? I honestly don't know what I'd do. This quest has consumed me for the better part of my life. I fear there's nothing else left to me. What about you? What's your story? Do we really want to fully divulge to him now? I'm a thrill seeker and lover of great renown. Um. Okay, I suppose we can... You know, he's trusting us quite a lot, so I think we should. I was a colonist on the Hope. A scientist named Wells has saved me. And how did he do that? Dragged my freezer cabinet out of there. <laughs> um, he stole my body from the Hope at the edge of the colony and thawed me out. Well, you do seem different than every other colonist. Let's pretend for the moment I believe you. What are you going to do now? Um, I'm helping him recover more of the chemicals he needs to save the rest of the colonists. That seems a dangerous proposition. Why risk your life now that it's been returned to you? Ooh. So I had a family on the Hope, my friends are on the Hope, because it's the right thing to do, or I don't know. I'm gonna go with friends on the Hope. I don't think necessarily the family. But definitely friends. Oh, I see. You have my condolences. 
it's going to be our driving force. I had a good buddy that I came through bartending college with. Three years we spent together in bartending college, getting to know each other. And I'm not leaving him behind. Bartender's Creed. Tell me again about the book we picked up that's in French. Bocono, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Okay. Well, tell us again about the Philosophists. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. Hmm. So where do we find someone who speaks French in the colonies? I've been thinking on that. There's a former associate... Uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. So, a former potential associate who's a philosopher. <laughs> yes. Hmm. So that seems like a bit of a long shot. What makes you so sure? <laughs> a former what now? Now I'm not going to press on that. Oh, I'm anything but certain. But it's all I've got at the moment. We should start on the Groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. Okay, is that how a simple vicar happens to uh, be so highly skilled as a hacker? Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock. I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard tossball and taught myself a bit about computronic security systems. Okay, and how does this manifest help us track down the scholar friend? I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the philosophist's off-world destination. All right, let's do it. Thank you, Captain. I didn't mean right now. I want to talk to you some I more. I could spend hours reflecting on the secret workings of the universe. Little else in this colony offers such a relaxing pastime. So, tell me what's on your mind. I excel at confessional listening. So I can dismiss them. We won't. Let's talk about the personal quest. Of course. Are you ready to break into security on the Groundbreaker? Oh, right. Um, not just yet. Okay, we'll leave it at that for now. Have a look around the rest of the ship, get to know where everything is. Ooh, fish sticks. Spectrum vodka. Gigantar energy drinks. Mm. Stuff. I'll be taking all of these. That's just the, uh... Right, that seems to be everything. That's everywhere. Oh god, I've got to stop doing that. That's too high. Uh, let's break down some of these. I'm going to break down that plasma rifle. I don't want it. I don't want the LMG either. I'm going to keep the grenade launcher, though. Um, pair all my equipped gear. Modify some of these. This has got a speed grip. Let's install that.
have no more mods for the assault rifle. I currently have the fun times barrel installed on this for more crit damage. Change it for a quieter muzzle, but... Nah, we're not doing stealth this time round. Hmm. What about my armors? I have one more... Um... Aha! Yes, the electrocharged surface. We just picked that up. Put that in as well. Brilliant. Okay, good. So, next stop, Groundbreaker. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Oh, yeah, yeah. What about this auto mechanical called Sam, gathering dust in the janitor closet? The unit is a cleaning Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Oh, that might be worth doing before we leave. I'm in the mood for some entertainment? What does this anyway, do? Captain, what would you like to hear? Wait, I can get it to- you can play Muse. Oh. Tell me a joke. A Neutron walks into a bar and asks, How much for a Rizzo's rum and something? Leering, the bartender replies, For you? No charge. Oh my god. You totally didn't see Sam for the longest time. <laughs> it was the first thing I noticed. I was like, whoa, there's a robot in here. Okay, Ada, play me a song. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. Oh god, no. Stop. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. Uh, that's not my favorite song. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. Okay, well, that's enough I from you. Wish, Captain, I must comply with all direct orders. All right. May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe <laughs> they possess good quantities of it. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, let's go actually have a look at this, then. Search term Sam. Do not forget, you found a discarded sanitation and maintenance auto, auto mechanical in Emerald Vale scrap heap. Oh, that's what Sam stands for. Sanitation and maintenance. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, it shouldn't be too difficult to get it up and running. With a few key modifications, I can envision a combat-capable variant. Some might say a clean, mean killing machine. Should be fun. Removal of factory standard Sud Steeper. That was a successful delivery of combat modification replacement part. Acid Steeper has been delayed. But you were going to... You were going to replace its ability to put out soapy water with acid. Nice. Uh, progress is set back and estimated now be a solid three months. Not like I have a pressing matters to attend to. Ah, but I do. Third one. Uh, giving up hope on the delivery of the part. Lost in transit and not turning up anytime soon. So we've got a quest to find that. But good news. I heard from a fellow who's got a uh, gal who knows the broker. Um, who ex overcharged me uh, for the information regarding the location of an acid steeper I can uh, filch. The part was sent to an old storage facility in Roseway. I'm sure I'd never go back to that pit. Good thing Auntie abandoned it l uh, years ago. I'll pick up the part, uh, pick it up following uh, the next pit stop back to Emerald Vale. Wells wants me to chaperone some person of interest. Details to come later. Yeah, those details ain't never coming because you were stupid and decided to hold on to the homing beacon and then we squashed you with our escape pod. Not the brightest one. Mm hmm. Okay. Cool, look at this. So, this is the navigation chart. So, we need to go to the Groundbreaker. Uh, that's Phineas's lab. That's Terra 2 where we were. Cool. These are places we've not been yet. We need to get to Monarch, eventually. 
but we can't do that till we go to the Groundbreaker. So let's go to the Groundbreaker docking bay. Destiny. Yeah, welcome to the system map. Here you can see all the planets in the system as well as some special points of interest you may have discovered. You can fly your ship to any location you've unlocked through some landing bays, require special codes and keys before they allow you to land. Moving between planets is considered extremely dangerous. All employees are encouraged to remain home or at work. <laughs> reached the groundbreaker. Cool, look at that. That is a nice looking ship. Pretty big. Hey. We've arrived at the groundbreaker. So do I just oh I guess I just go to the um you got a sec? Up. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. Okay. What about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Hmm. But you said you could keep the boat in good repair. Nah, I mean, it never hurts to learn from your peers. Um, okay, sure, we can uh, head over to engineering now. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Uh, nope. Let's get back to work. So we should probably bring the uh, the other guy along with us. if we can. I think we can have two people in a party. I'll go tell him that we're going to go do his job as well. Where is he? Here he is. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? Um, so about your personal quest. Of course. Are you ready to break into security on the Groundbreaker? Yeah. Do that. Okay, I guess that's not what I need to do then. I, let's see what happens when we try to leave. This is new to me. I wonder if it's like Mass Effect where you get to pick your party when you leave the ship. Ah, okay, so you do. Yes, and I can have two people in my party. Nice. All right. Right, okay, so here we are. That's our ship. Smells like grease and unwashed bodies. Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Thank you. Don't mind the heat. Got a few days before it reaches critical. I'm sure Miss Chief Tennyson will get it sorted before then. Well, we'll be gone before those few days elapse. <laughs> Just in case she doesn't. That's not the point. This half would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get cute with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. Here's the law. I don't have time for this. Trick. Just arrived. Head over to customs. Wheeler needs to process you. Okay. What's your story? Going for a stroll around the docking base? I was you were in the middle of an argument. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. Oh, you're a professional shit stirrer, I see. So I heard you knocked someone out with a toss ball stick? The guy insulted my Rizzo's rangers, alright? You can't just insult my rangers and expect to get away with it. So of course I decked him with a toss ball stick. I mean, what am I? Some kind of fair weather fan? A bit of an overreaction, dude. You wouldn't be saying that if you'd been there. Uh-huh. Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. 
So when the Chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. And? What are you, nine? And that's when you resolved your differences like an adult, right? That's when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Good career choice, yeah. Got any plans now that you've ruined your life? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? You're not gonna hit me with a toss ball stick, are you? <laughs> Technically, the previous captain died in a horrible accident. Now, why do you ask? Oh, just musing is all. Must be nice having the run of the colony. Never being anchored to one place, always chasing some horizon. Hey, I don't want to tuck your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Okay, you in a hurry to get somewhere? Oh, uh, not at all. Just, uh, you know, gonna figure out what to do next. See you around, boss. I'm not your boss. You just hire yourself onto my crew? Wow. Careful where you smoke. The crew bills us for air filtration. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, we got skill points available. When did we level? Okay, well then, I will put these into... Um... Wouldn't mind getting another level of lie. I never checked this out either when I got the medical skill. We can get the engineering skill soon. They're competent to break down weapons and armor for a 20% chance to extract a basic mod. But I think I might need to start doing some leadership now. I'm actually kind of liking having companions in this game compared to Fallout. So companion abilities, you can order companions to do special attacks. Okay. And I'm going to put the rest into range. Aunt Cleo knows friends make everything better. Companion abilities. Okay, so C and V are used to trigger off different abilities for the companions. Cool. Oh, we should probably check out Vicar Max as well. We've not used him yet. Extra carry capacity. Yes. Take that now. So we should be able to unlock tier 2 soon as well. Next perk point, we'll be able to unlock tier 2. What does he have? He has a shotgun, he has his telescoping staff, Klingon pain stick basically. Um, right, he has a perk point available. So he can support my hacking skill. Um, he can generate more threat to uh, get aggro off of us. Or less, and that's more, or more health. Um, support my hacking, how about that? Let's apply that. So we want to speak to Gladys. Customs and inspection, right this way. Wait, cool guys. Did you fill in your forms properly? Identification, please. Present Hawthorne's ID. I don't want to tell them I'm, <laughs> I'm not the captain of that ship that's on record. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, I don't have an ID. No, let's give him Hawthorne's ID. Let's not mess around. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Correct. Well, let me apologize in advance. Good. I'm about to ruin your day. What? According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. What? Your ship will be impounded what? until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Bullshit! But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. 
Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. I mean, we did kind of shut down the town. <laughs> they might not have enjoyed that. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Um, so how do we get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. Udom Bedford? The office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Okay. Any idea why this is happening? Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it. But what the hell? This here, impounding your ship? It doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Okay. So this is this might not necessarily be us. This might be the actual original Hawthorne who's done this. So he did something bad. We're paying for it. Bullshit. I'm gonna wring this Bedford guy's neck. Okay, great. I'll talk to him and straighten this out. You take the starch out of him? Well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? You must be joking. What do you want? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Illegal salvage operation, yeah. That's it. Uh, shipment? A handful of SAM cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. All right, got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? This happens all the time when I go through customs as well at airports. You know, the, the border guard usually asks me to pass messages on to parts of the airport while I'm on my way out. <laughs> uh, but I'm looking for somebody called Gladys, by the way. The fans. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Okay. Uh, looking for a drink. Any recommendations? Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder. Straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera. She'll set you right. Okay. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. Why can I find a job? Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board. That is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. Hmm, which I can't do because some jackass impounded my ship. How does Halcyon Holdings work? Are you pulling my leg? No. I'm, uh... I'm new around here. You must be one of them long-haul freighters from outside the colony. Well, I won't hold it against you. It goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the board. Okay. And they run most of the system. Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. 